get other musicians to do the other one. <laughs> Zap! Hey church, welcome to Wednesday Voices. Today, we're talking about the shepherds. The shepherds are a fascinating crew of people. They are like the night shift workers, the undocumented people, the ones who are doing the dishes, who are working in office buildings, who are at the back of your favorite restaurant. They are the people who are talked about more than they're spoken to. The shepherds are, are the ones who come home with stench on their clothes that are so smelly that they have to jump right into the shower to wash the day away. They're the ones who are taken for granted, who are not seen, and who are the last to receive any kind of news. to be a shepherd. And by that I mean while studying abroad in Ireland during college, I ran out of money and needed a job. I did not have a work visa and was not going to be able to get one. So I had to find employment that would look the other way and uh, pay me in cash. I was the cleaning lady and cook at a bed and breakfast. I got paid five euro an hour to do everything. And the owners of the bed and breakfast told me that I was not allowed to talk during my shifts because they didn't want anyone to hear my American accent and start asking questions. So even though I am a very front and center personality, very chatty, in order to stay employed, I had to blend into the background and do a lot of eavesdropping, listening to tourists, sometimes from Minnesota and Wisconsin, hearing them say familiar places, wanting to connect, and I couldn't. Every afternoon while I was working the laundry and the steam machine, um, I listened to the radio with one of the owners and all the news was in Gaelic. I couldn't understand it. But every once in a while, they would throw me a tidbit in English and let me know what was going on. Sometimes I made more in a day from change that was left on the dresser or in pillowcases than I did um, from my salary. And I felt like I was on the outskirts of things, on the outside of a system, um, back in the kitchen, and told to be seen but not heard. In a lot of ways, that was a good experience for me while I was 20 years old because I'm not sure I would know what that feels like otherwise to be counted out and ignored and the last to know what was going on. The shepherds should have been the last to know. But when the angels showed up in the sky over Bethlehem, they showed up for the shepherds for the outsiders, for the people that everyone else forgets about, that nobody else trusts. They were the first to receive God's good news of great joy for all the people. They heard first and ran to go see this thing that God made known to them. 
I want you to put your hand on your heart. Blink your eyes shut and pray with me. May, be, may we be the ones who hold the doors open for others, who hold hands, who hold faces, who hold secrets for one another, who hold space for the pain and the brilliance, who hold space for the light and the salt, the complexity and simplicity, the silence and the storm, the ones who hold our opinions loosely and yet love ferociously. Sarah Bessie. Amen. Um, I was thinking that Christmas and Advent were sort of missing a blues song. And so I took the lyrics from, How great our joy, 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 joy. Um, and I repurposed them. So, here we go. While by the sheep we watched a night Glad tidings brought and an angel bright. How great our joy, joy, joy. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. There shall be born. So he did say. Gives of God who cherish well. 